from the moment I had it in my hands, I thought, it's the best playing, feeling guitar I ever held. This is the world famous Randy Rhodes Jackson prototype number three. This is one of the greatest guitars ever made. He was really the first true great shredder of the heavy metal era. I was just blown away from the first time I heard him play and it was on a, an Aussie mini disc. It's pretty well known that he commissioned four guitars from Jackson and he died when the third one, that's my guitar, was being made. And so he designed the guitar. Part of this legend is that it was accidentally sold at the NAMM show. When it first came in the shop, the guy opened the case. Oh, I got this from Grover at the NAMM show accidentally. He sold it to me. I was shaking, you know, I was 17 year old Randy Rhodes fan, hair's cut like him, I'm teaching his licks in the local shop. I knew I had to have that guitar. In the same way, I feel like the guy selling it knew I had to have the guitar. I was the, the Randy guy in town, right? And so that's how I acquired it, but it was never really meant to go out in the public. And I played it without telling anybody what I had because I didn't want to get robbed or strong-armed. It was considered the lost Randy Rhodes guitar for 25 years. Here I am so lucky, the third one ever made, the only one that didn't get to Randy. It's the number three prototype. It's the most special Jackson in the world aside from the ones that he played. The build of the guitar was incredibly special. Neck through the body before it was standard all the time. The strings coming through the body adding sustain to the guitar. The way the V is shaped, more angled than his original Concorde so he could access the frets all the way down to the end with no problem. So when you hold the guitar, you're like, the first thing you feel is like it's a wide, flat neck. It just wants to be played. Just play me, play me, play. Shred, shred. This guitar is part of my soul. I've been playing it for 35 years. It's my magic sword. God, even with almost a tear in my eye. I'm telling you that the guitar is going to be on the market and whoever gets it is going to be one lucky SOB, if I may.